Ketoroactromethamine, a powerful non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, is commonly used to alleviate pain and reduce inflammation caused by various conditions. From post-surgical pain to musculoskeletal injuries, this medication proves effective for managing a wide range of ailments. In this comprehensive guide, we delve into the common uses, dosages, side effects, and benefits of ketorolactromethamine. Whether you have recently undergone surgery, are struggling with a sports injury, or seeking relief from menstrual cramps, this video will provide you with the vital information you need. We'll explore the appropriate dosing guidelines for different age groups and weigh the potential side effects against the benefits of this medication. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how ketorolactromethamine can help you or your loved ones find relief from pain and inflammation. Whether you're a medical professional seeking more information about this drug or a patient in need of effective pain management options, this video is a valuable resource for you. Read on to discover the wonders of ketorolactromethamine. Common ailments treated with ketorolactromethamine. Ketorolactromethamine is commonly prescribed to alleviate pain and reduce inflammation associated with various ailments. One of its primary uses is for post-surgical pain management. Whether you've had a minor procedure or a major surgery, ketorolactromethamine can help control pain during the recovery period. It is often administered intravenously or as an injection immediately after surgery and can be continued orally for a few days. Another common use of ketorolactromethamine is for the treatment of musculoskeletal injuries. Whether you've sprained an ankle, pulled a muscle, or have a joint inflammation, this medication can provide relief by reducing inflammation and alleviating pain. It can be prescribed in the form of tablets or as an injectable, depending on the severity of the injury. Apart from surgical pain and musculoskeletal injuries, ketorolactromethamine is also used to manage pain associated with conditions such as dental procedures, kidney stones, and migraine headaches. It is known to be effective in providing relief from moderate to severe pain, making it a valuable tool in the management of various ailments. Understanding the Dosing Guidelines for Ketorolactromethamine The dosing of ketorolactromethamine depends on several factors, including the age of the patient, the severity of the pain or inflammation, and the specific condition being treated. It is important to follow the prescribed dosing guidelines to ensure safe and effective use of the medication. For adults, the usual oral dose of ketorolactromethamine is 10 mg every 4-6 hours as needed for pain relief. The total daily dose should not exceed 40 mg. It is important to note that the duration of treatment should not exceed 5 days due to an increased risk of adverse effects, such as gastrointestinal bleeding. In pediatric patients, the dosing of ketorolactromethamine is based on body weight. For children aged 2 16 years, the usual oral dose is 0.5 mg per kilogram every 6-8 hours as needed, with a maximum daily dose of 15-30 mg. It is crucial to consult a healthcare professional or refer to the specific pediatric dosing guidelines for accurate dosing recommendations. For geriatric patients, the dosing of ketorolactromethamine may need to be adjusted due to potential age-related changes in kidney function. A lower initial dose is often recommended, and close monitoring of renal function is necessary to ensure the safety of the medication. Potential Side Effects of Using Ketorolactromethamine As with any medication, ketorolactromethamine carries the risk of potential side effects. It is important to be aware of these side effects and to seek medical attention if they occur or worsen. Common side effects of ketorolactromethamine include gastrointestinal discomfort, such as nausea, indigestion, and stomach pain. These side effects can usually be managed by taking the medication with food or milk. However, if severe stomach pain, black stools, or vomiting of blood occur, it is essential to seek immediate medical attention as these may indicate a more serious gastrointestinal problem. Another potential side effect of ketorolactromethamine is an increased risk of bleeding. This can manifest as prolonged bleeding from wounds, easy bruising, or nosebleeds. It is important to inform your healthcare provider if you have a bleeding disorder or are taking other medications that increase the risk of bleeding, such as anticoagulants or antiplatelet drugs. In some cases, ketorolactromethamine can cause allergic reactions. Symptoms of an allergic reaction can include hives, rash, itching, swelling of the face or throat, and difficulty breathing. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek immediate medical attention. Benefits of using ketorolactromethamine Despite the potential side effects, ketorolactromethamine offers several benefits in the management of pain and inflammation. It is a potent NSAID that effectively reduces pain intensity and inflammation, allowing individuals to experience improved quality of life. 
One of the key benefits of ketorolactromethamine is its rapid onset of action. When administered intravenously or as an injection, the medication starts working within minutes, providing quick relief to patients in acute pain. This makes it particularly useful in the post-surgical setting or for immediate pain management in emergency situations. Another advantage of ketorolactromethamine is its ability to help patients avoid or minimize the use of opioids for pain management. Opioids carry significant risks of dependence, addiction, and respiratory depression. By using ketorolactromethamine, healthcare providers can reduce the need for opioids, thereby minimizing the associated risks. Additionally, ketorolactromethamine is available in various formulations, including oral tablets, injections, and nasal sprays, providing flexibility in the route of administration. This allows healthcare professionals to tailor the treatment to the specific needs of the patient, optimizing pain relief and patient comfort. Precautions and contraindications for using ketorolactromethamine While ketorolactromethamine can be highly effective in managing pain and inflammation, certain precautions and contraindications must be considered before its use. It is important to consult a healthcare professional to assess the suitability of this medication for your specific condition. Ketorolactromethamine is contraindicated in patients with a history of allergic reactions to NSAIDs or those with a history of asthma, hives, or other allergic reactions after taking aspirin or other NSAIDs. It should also be avoided in patients with a history of gastrointestinal bleeding or perforation and those with active peptic ulcers. Caution should be exercised when using ketorolactromethamine in patients with impaired renal function or a history of kidney disease. The medication can affect kidney function and may lead to kidney damage in susceptible individuals. Regular monitoring of renal function is necessary, especially in older adults or patients with pre-existing renal conditions. It is important to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications you are currently taking, including over-the-counter drugs, herbal supplements, and vitamins. Ketorolactromethamine may interact with certain medications, such as anticoagulants, antiplatelet drugs, and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs, increasing the risk of bleeding or other adverse effects. Alternatives to ketorolactromethamine for pain relief While ketorolactromethamine is an effective medication for pain relief and inflammation, there are alternative options available that may be suitable for certain individuals or conditions. One common alternative is acetaminophen, paracetamol, which is widely used for mild to moderate pain relief. Acetaminophen does not possess anti-inflammatory properties like ketorolactromethamine, but it can be effective for pain relief in conditions where inflammation is not the primary factor. It is generally considered safe and has a lower risk of gastrointestinal side effects compared to NSAIDs. Another alternative to consider is other NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen or naproxen. These medications work similarly to ketorolactromethamine by reducing pain and inflammation, However, the choice of NSAID depends on the specific condition being treated and the patient's medical history. It is important to consult a healthcare professional to determine the most appropriate NSAID for your individual needs. In some cases, opioids may be necessary for severe pain management. However, opioids carry significant risks and should be used judiciously under the guidance of a healthcare professional. They are generally reserved for short-term use or for severe pain that does not respond to other medications. Frequently asked questions about ketorolactromethamine. Is ketorolactromethamine addictive? Ketorolactromethamine is not addictive. It is a non-opioid medication and does not carry the same risks of dependence or addiction as opioids. However, it is important to use the medication as prescribed and not exceed the recommended dosage to avoid potential side effects. Can I take ketorolactromethamine if I have asthma? Ketorolactromethamine is contraindicated in individuals with a history of asthma or other allergic reactions to NSAIDs. If you have asthma, it is important to inform your healthcare provider before starting this medication to determine the most appropriate treatment option for your condition. Can I take ketorolactromethamine with other medications? Ketorolactromethamine can interact with certain medications, including anticoagulants, antiplatelet drugs, and SSRIs. It is important to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications you are currently taking to avoid potential drug interactions. Your healthcare provider will assess the risks and benefits and determine the most suitable treatment plan for you. Can I use ketorolactromethamine for menstrual cramps? Ketorolactromethamine can be used to manage pain associated with menstrual cramps. It is often prescribed as a short-term treatment during the menstrual cycle to provide relief. 
However, it is important to follow the prescribed dosing guidelines and not exceed the recommended duration of treatment. Are there any long-term side effects of using ketorolac tromethamine? Prolonged use of ketorolac tromethamine or exceeding the recommended duration of treatment can increase the risk of adverse effects, especially gastrointestinal bleeding. It is important to use the medication as directed by your healthcare provider and not to exceed the recommended dose or duration of treatment. Consultation with a healthcare professional before using ketorolac tromethamine. Before starting ketorolac tromethamine or any other medication, it is crucial to consult a healthcare professional. They will assess your medical history, evaluate the specific condition being treated, and determine the most appropriate treatment plan for you. A healthcare professional will consider factors such as your age, overall health, and any existing medical conditions or medications you are taking. They will also provide you with the necessary information about dosing, potential side effects, and precautions to ensure safe and effective use of ketorolac tromethamine. Remember, self-medication without proper medical guidance can be risky and may lead to adverse effects. Always consult a healthcare professional before starting or changing any medication regimen. Conclusion. Making an informed decision about ketorolac tromethamine. Ketorolac tromethamine is a powerful non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that provides effective relief from pain and inflammation associated with various conditions. From post-surgical pain management to musculoskeletal injuries and menstrual cramps, this medication offers valuable benefits in pain management. Understanding the appropriate dosing guidelines, potential side effects, and precautions associated with ketorolac tromethamine is crucial for making an informed decision about its use. By consulting a healthcare professional and following their guidance, you can ensure safe and effective pain relief. Remember, ketorolac tromethamine is just one option among many available for pain management. Alternatives such as acetaminophen or other NSAIDs may be more suitable for certain individuals or conditions. Discussing your options with a healthcare professional will help you determine the most appropriate treatment plan for your specific needs. Ultimately, the goal is to find the right balance between pain relief and minimizing potential risks and side effects. With the guidance of a healthcare professional, you can make an informed decision about whether ketorolac tromethamine is the right choice for you or your loved ones.